Right, some more breaking transfer news to bring you. It concerns Arsenal. They're close to signing central defender Jakob Kivior. The deal is understood to be worth £20 million. Sky Italy reporting that the player will fly into the UK over the weekend for a medical. Personal terms not expected to be a problem. Uh, a little bit more about the player. He's been capped nine times by Poland, started all four of their games at the World Cup. Uh, and we do know that Arsenal have been looking for a left-sided central defender to provide competition for Gabriel. Um, Zach, how much do Arsenal need to strengthen there? Well, we mentioned it earlier about the, the forward line. It's all about depth. It's all about depth. Arsenal can't get to the end of the season and think, oh, what if an injury happens to this position? What if, what if we only went and spent that money now rather than the summer? They're in an amazing position to go and win the Premier League. If they can bring in these people who could have you know, long-term futures and provide competition to, to the likes of Gabriel, um, who himself is a guy that continues to develop season on season, looks fantastic, um, then that's, that's, the perfect, that's the perfect business. I mean, we've said it numerous times on this show about how impressed we are with Arsenal and their business, OK? This might not be a £50, £60 million pound transfer, it's £20 million, pounds, which, a is, lot. Which, is, which is a lot. But for Arsenal and for the guys that they're competing with, the likes of City, the likes of Chelsea, the likes of... Um, of uh, Manchester United, £20 million is for, for, those, for that level is actually quite a, a cheaper fee to what's normally being paid. Um, and so, yeah, if he can provide competition, if he can, if he can provide cover um, and help Arsenal go for, or help Arsenal defend uh, to, the, to the fantastic degree they have, no complaints here. Yeah, Dan, any surprise to hear that news that they're, they're targeting him? A little bit, because I would say if they were going to get another player in central midfield, would perhaps perhaps be somewhere that we would expect. But I guess Ben White's done so well at right back now; he's become the undisputed yeah. num number one right back for them now. So it, it does open up a space in their central defensive ranks. After they've got Holding uh, as, as well, who's, who's back up. But the fact that he's left-sided is obviously something that they're very keen on. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's low money. Well, I say it's low money. I still think that's a, that's a fair <laughs> amount of money, but he's been capped nine times by Poland, exactly. played in the World Cup, so he's, he's got good experience and got decent pedigree. At the moment, you just have to really, if you're an Arsenal fan, you'll just back whatever decision yeah. your club is making yeah. because they've got so 100%. much right in the last 12 months. Especially just after the, the Mudrick situation. Again, that was the best part of £88.5 million pounds they were willing to part with. Well, already they've spent 27 million, upwards potentially yeah. of 27 million with add-ons for Trossard. Now 20 million here. So they're kind of dissecting that money and, and using it around the squad again. Why? There's some left. And yeah. there's some left <laughs> for that central midfield you're talking about. Yeah, uh, 22 years old as well. We were just trying to find out how old the player was.